Are you looking for a summer banger to invest in? Well, you've come to the right place. Perfect. Hello there, broskies. Erkin back with another banger to review. And yes, it is a GR, but it is one of the goats in my opinion. We are looking at, on today's episode, the Nike Air Max 97 in all white. Now at the time of recording this video, of course we are in June. And to be fair, in the UK, summer isn't really as predictable as I guess everywhere else in the world. Throughout the three summer months, we get about 10 days of summer, give or take. But us Brits, we do make the most of it. And what is a summer's day without an all white sneaker? Some people go for the Air Forces, and of course I don't really blame them. But I handpicked one of the best looking ones, in my opinion, to get on the channel. And this Air Max 97, yes, it's been around for quite some time now. When it first came out in 1997, I was only four years old. So as time's gone on, I've learned to appreciate this silhouette way more than I used to. Now before we waffle on any more, we are of course gonna have a look at the box. And this being a general release sneaker by Nike, it does come in your bog standard red Nike one. But on the product sticker, it does actually read Nike Air Max 97. And the official colorway is white, wolf gray, and black. Now the only black I can see on this silhouette is on the outsole, and that's for the Nike swoosh. But other than that, it's pretty much all white. But it is what it is until it isn't. That is my life's motto to be fair. It is what it is until it isn't. So simple, but it means absolutely nothing. Now I did manage to pick these up for 150 pounds. I do believe it was off ASOS and I will leave some purchase links down below as well because I know how hard it is to pick up a clean pair like this around the summertime. So hopefully that will help you out when grabbing a pair. Now, if you have shortlisted this bad boy and you are thinking about getting a pair, of course, one of the main things you are gonna think about is the sizing. So it's only right we touch on it right now. So when it comes to the sizing, my personal experience, these were a true to size fit. However, this is a little disclaimer. My feet are more so on the narrower side. And this sneaker, as soon as you put them on, these do fit very, very narrow. But of course, you do have to break these in like most other sneakers as well to get the full benefit in terms of its comfort and sizing. I would say though, if you do have wide feet, then maybe go half a size up because I think one size up would be too long for your foot. So long story short, for me, in my personal experience, these are a true to size fit. The way this sneaker just reflects, it's like it's winking at me. Now we've touched on a lot to do with this silhouette already, but just like my hairline, let's take this video right back and have a closer look. Now the Air Max 97, it is one of the goats in terms of sneakers. And its original release back in 1997, there's a lot of reasons why it's still around now. Now some of the panels on the upper are of course of this 3M reflective material. So shine a little light on them or take a picture with a flash and these will light up like anything. Now the materials on the upper do consist mainly of this leather on the overlay, but on the underlays it is of course of this nylon mesh. Now we've got the Nike swooshes on the mid panels in this gray color, just stitched in this rough textile material. Now moving on to the lacing, and this is one of the strongest points for me anyway. The lace hoops are actually hidden under the upper and it does sort of weave through the tongue with the holes. And this tongue is mainly of this softer mesh on top with the Nike swoosh bang on the top with that pull tab. And of course it does come with these white roped laces. Now the sock liner is of this fleece material and it is very soft on foot. And we've got the same color on the insole with the white Nike swoosh. Now making our ways to the back, we've got that pull tab with the Air Max branding down the middle. And there isn't really a separated heel counter, it just sort of blends into the upper. But where the Air Max 97 really took a big turn was of course this air unit. Now the air unit does run across the whole of the foot. And back in 97, this was one of the most revolutionary things that Nike pulled off. Now finishing off on the outsole, of course we've got this sort of twist to the waffle design that Nike Air Maxes are known for. With this sort of cross look on the panels and at the back we've got 
got this gray panel with the Nike swoosh in black. Okay, okay, so we've had a deeper look at this silhouette and the Air Max 97 may not be everyone's cup of tea. It certainly grew on me as I got older, but nonetheless, we still have to decide whether these are a buy or a buy. Now this is one of those sneakers that you would have in your collection at one time or another. It's sort of like an Air Force, an Air Max 90, an Air Max 1. If you've never owned a pair of Air Max 97s, it's probably because one, you didn't like them, or two, you just couldn't get your hands on the right color. But if you did own a pair, then chances are you would wear these until they were beaten up. And there are so many reasons why this sneaker is so popular. Of course, it's sleek design. It just separates itself from all the other Air Maxes out there. It's so simple, but it's so stylish at the same time. And in my opinion, I don't really think the 97s get spoken about enough when it comes to its comfort. The insult on this silhouette even has supportive arches. But overall broskies, I could sit here for hours and talk about this sneaker. There's hardly any cons with this silhouette and this is me, I'm one of the most pickiest people on this earth. So of course, my overall verdict is a buy. But broskies, I am interested to know what you think about the Air Max 97 in this triple white colorway. Is this one of the sneakers you would go to for the summer? Have you ever owned a pair of Air Max 97s? Or are you looking for something completely different for the summer months? Leave it all down below. And of course, like always, I will pin the best comments. Anyways, my broskies, thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting. Don't forget, hit me up on my IG as well to stay up to date with everything broski. And don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. And of course, until the next episode, take care.